right, so here are the main things I'm working on today. Basically, recently I sent out a welcome package pretty much um, to three businesses. They're pretty much in like um, like medical like improvements, like for example, Botox and things like that. And you know, their main clientele is women. What I do is I specialize in portraiture. So I messaged three women. I sent them packages via UPS to make sure it was signed for. Yes, that costs money. Um, and I sent them a video email basically giving them the introducing myself and let them know if they need anything but basically the the point of the package was to offer my services to help you know with their promotion and market uh, marketing anything like that and also um, to do a shoot with me so basically I'm inviting them to a complimentary session with some photo credits so they can benefit and of course they can purchase more but also to be a partner when it comes to their actual branding and social media and that way if they see value take it from there so yesterday I emailed these videos to them um, and I'm pretty much waiting for a reply it is the next day the next morning I have not heard a reply yet a lot of times it does take businesses 24 hours to get the emails sometimes 48 hours depending on how busy the emails are or how cluttered but I'm taking it from there um, I don't really know what the next step is if they don't reply do I just assume that you know they didn't get the message I sent it via <laughs> UPS and email or if I like I said if I want to um, you know follow up another way um, I'll probably follow up another way, but then I'll start on the next businesses. So I'm probably going to just do three at a time and I'll go into details about what I actually sent over and um, things like that. Okay, my phone's dying, but I kind of want to show you real quick of what I'm sending to these businesses. Um, on top of this, I also type up a letter that's a little bit more personalized and tailored to each owner. So basically, so far, the only three businesses I've reached out to were businesses who were open about who the manager was. Um, I've tried calling a few places and they seem to be um, a little hesitant when it comes giving me their names. Like, I'm like, hi, you know, for example, hi, my name is Simone. What's the name of your manager? And they'll, they might say, oh, Anna. And I'm like, oh, can I have her last name too? I wanted to send her some information. But what are you sending? You know, they start getting real annoying and I don't want to, you know, debate people, argue with people. So I could just go off a of first name. I could just go off of, you know, marketing director or head of marketing or whatever. I'll think about it, but for now, I just sent this to three businesses who I know their name. So, for example, I used um, like you know med spas or anybody in the medical profession because they usually have you know that MD. They put their name. They have a bio about who the business owner is or any business. Now on Instagram, a lot of people are you know they you can find out who people are. So that's where I decided to go. So just real quick before my phone dies, this is what I send. This is you know a five by five brochure um you know whether you care for my photographer or not is irrelevant basically you looking for clients clients don't have that photographer that photography eye <laughs> so you want you know you just trying to find people who value your work and will be excited to work with you you know whether photographers like your work or not is so irrelevant it doesn't make any sense they do not spend with you they're not your ideal client it does not matter anyways and basically this is an invitation to um you know cross promoting um um, offering her a shoot what the session includes and things like that for her to experience a service with me so that way she feels comfortable um, you know gifting me to her clients etc I don't know if you guys uh, are aware of creative live but this is a combination of Sue Bryce Bambi Cantrell and Megan Tapiro's wording so this is all a combination of, of you know what they do when they market so I kind of put that together so look up those people it includes my price list because you want to be transparent if they think you're too expensive if they don't value what you do or they don't value at your price you want to go ahead and nip that in the bud um you know sometimes people do value what you do but they just uh can't do it right now sometimes they you know they're like oh wow you know that would be something i would love to do later but right now the business isn't doing too well there can be a million reasons why somebody might turn you down don't just assume it just because they just hate you and they just think you're so bad that they wouldn't even respond it could be a million reasons that for, that business could not be doing as good as you think it is whatever and then it includes this gift voucher which is pretty much giving her credit in a complimentary session and let her know what the session includes. I included the expiration date because I assumed that I'll be following up with them pretty soon, which I did. And, um, you know, we'll be taking care of, you know, booking a session, you know, within this date. Whether expiration dates are legal or not in Florida, I have no idea. I'm getting cross information. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. I think if you actually spent money with a, uh, um, like a gift card, they cannot expire. 
this is a voucher so i'm assuming i think it's okay for it to expire i don't like i said i think it is but who knows my business and you know yada 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 and what I'm here to do so I'm gonna go ahead and click it so you can just get an example of what I sent see how this works hi Sandy hopefully this email reaches you either directly or passed on I wanted to make an introduction that was both personal and convenient for you I'm Simone Starr and yes that's my middle name Friday, your office received some information regarding my portrait services, along with some cross-promotion ideas, and I wanted to take this opportunity to follow up. I'd be happy to give you a call when it best fits your schedule. Please leave a date, time, any special instructions, and I'll definitely make it happen. Looking forward to hearing from you, and take care. So anyways, I thought that was cute. Um, you know, it wasn't the very best, but I decided execution over perfection perfection has been what's been holding me back for years now and I'm done with it so it is what it is even this video video is not perfect background isn't lit properly every guy got all this junk in there you see all my DVDs I love them um, all those you know I, I don't have time for that now you know I'm, I'm moving forward like I said and I'm you know thinking about others instead of myself and that's, that's all you can do hi guys thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed this one please hit the like button and if you want to join me on this journey to creating a better life Please hit the subscribe button as well. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.